In this video, we're going to be going over what happens to an inequality when uh, we have to multiply or divide um, it by a negative number in order to get to uh, our solution. So we're going to start off with an example that doesn't actually involve any variables. Just to give you an idea of uh, what happens makes sense. Okay, so let's give it. Let's say we have the inequality that three is less than five. That's definitely true. We know that three is less smaller number than five. Now, what would happen? Let's think. What would happen if I multiplied both of these numbers by a negative number? Let's say I multiplied them both by negative two. And let's see what happens when I write this out. Okay, uh, 3 times negative 2 would be negative 6, and put my symbol here, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So let's, let's think of this logically now. Uh, it's, this is saying that negative 6 is less than negative 10. Now if you remember, um, when we're practicing a rational numbers unit, when you're dealing with negative numbers, um, the smaller that negative digit is, um, the bigger it actually is, because it's closer to zero. For example, you can see here that negative four is actually bigger than negative five, because it's closer to zero. It's, it's less negative. So what I'm trying to get to here is that negative six is actually greater than negative ten, which means uh, this is not true. So for the, to, to make this true, we would actually have to reverse the sign uh, or the symbol here. So instead of it being less than, we should write greater than to make this true. So negative 6 is greater than negative 10, and that is correct. So what I'm trying to get at here is anytime you multiply or divide an inequality with a negative number, you actually have to flip the sign. So if it's less than, it becomes greater than. If it's greater than and equal to, greater than or equal to, then it's going to switch to less than or equal to. Uh, and hopefully that will make more, some more sense when we uh, do some quick examples here. So first let me just write out that what I just said to you, just so we're clear. Uh, anytime you are multiplying or dividing with a negative number, hopefully you can understand my abbreviations there, uh, then the sign is going to switch directions. So if it's a greater than symbol, it's going to become a less than symbol. If it's a less than symbol, then it's going to become greater than. If it is greater than or equal to, then it becomes less than or equal to. And then finally, if it is less than or equal to, it would switch to becoming greater than or equal to. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. It's just it's just switching directions. That's all that's happening. All right, let's get into a couple examples. Let's say we're trying to solve the inequality negative 6x is less than 12. Okay, uh, so x has been multiplied by negative 6. So to get x by itself, I'm going to be dividing by negative 6 because that's the opposite of multiplying. Okay, so we divide both sides by negative 6, and we're going to be canceling those out, and we'd be left with x on the left side, and then on the right side we have 12 divided by negative 6, and that would be, get us negative 2. So don't make the mistake thinking that uh, you're going to write the same symbol here because we just divided by a negative number. So remember the rule, whenever we do that, we're going to switch the directions of that sign. Uh, so instead of being less than, it's going to be greater than. So our answer to this inequality would be that x is greater than negative 2. Let's go ahead and try another one. How about negative 5x is greater than 20? Okay, similar idea here. To get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5, just like this, canceling those out. And we would get x on the left side and 4 on the right side. However, since we divided by a negative number, it's going to flip the sign. So instead of being greater than, it's going to be less than. So x is less than 4. Done. 
Now, what if we are dealing with a fraction as the coefficient, the, the number being multiplied by x? Let's see what happens there. For example, let's do negative 1 half n is greater than or equal to 15. Now, this is actually very similar to the last two questions we practiced, just that we're dealing with a fraction instead. This is still a number being multiplied by something. So to get rid of that something, we do the opposite of multiplying. So I'm going to divide. Now, instead of dividing by a whole number like normal, we're going to be dividing by this entire fraction. It's going to be dividing by negative 1 half. And that will make these cancel out. Then we'll do the exact same thing over on the right side. I'm going to do 15 divided by negative 1 half. All right, so we know we've got our n left here. And since we've divided by a negative number, we're going to switch the, the sign around. So now it's going to be going in this direction. Now we just need to figure out what 15 divided by negative 1 half is. Now, first of all, since it is a positive and a negative. I know my ne my answer will be negative. And <clears throat> just a quick recap of how to divide by a negative, sorry, how to divide by a fraction is you multiply and flip. You kiss and flip. You might remember me talking about that. And what that means, let me just go over here for real quick. So we need to do 15 divided by negative 1 half is actually the same thing as 15 times this flipped. So it would become negative 2 over 1. Now we just multiply across. Uh, 15 is the same thing as 15 over 1. So 15 times negative 2 is negative 30. And uh, 1 times 1 is 1. So essentially, our answer is just negative 30 because, well, negative 30 over 1 is just negative 30. All right, so let's head back over this way. Uh, we know our answer here is going to be negative 30. And that would be our inequality. And that would be it for this video. Uh, so just to, uh, take some time to practice the questions from the worksheet. For level three, you actually do have to complete uh, the entire page, the puzzle. And uh, hopefully you'll remember as you're going through it to only flip that sign or the symbol if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. If you're, if you're not doing that, then don't change the direction of the symbol. All right, good luck.